Okay, so now let's um, update the cart. And when we update the cart, we're just changing the quantity of a book in the cart. If the book is not in the cart, uh, if the book is not in the cart, we should really not do anything. Uh, and the reason I say that is because this update method should only be called from the cart itself. This it should only be called from the cart page. Uh, so the book should be in, in the, the cart. So if for some reason, if the book is not in the cart, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to return. I'm not going to create an error. I'm just going to return. If the book is in the cart, I'm going to update the quantity. But I personally am going to put a restriction on this quantity. I don't want the quantity to be less than zero. Obviously, you don't want a negative quantity. But I'm going to max out my quantity at 10. I'm going to say you can't put more than 10 items in the cart. So let's see how we do that. Uh, first of all, we have this variable QTY here. Uh, I'm going to refactor that. I want to refactor that to quantity because that is an actual quantity. That's an integer. Uh, this string here is really not a quantity. It's a quantity string. So I'm going to refactor that to quantity string. And then I'm going to refactor this to quantity. Okay, uh, and I'm going to cast it as short. I'm just going to go ahead and do that up here. And trust that what I'm really getting is uh, parsable into an integer. And then I'm going to say if quantity is less than zero or quantity is greater than or equal to 10. I'm going to return. Um, and then I'm just going to get the items in the cart that correspond to book. Uh, but look, I've already done that up here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a private method here. And I don't think this has to be synchronized, but I'm going to say synchronized anyway. And it's not going to be void. It's going to return a list of shopping cart items. shopping cart item uh, and it is going to be called matching items and it is going to be a method that takes a book and it's just going to return this And that's it. And now I can replace this with a matching items book. Okay, so now I've got this private method called matching items, uh, and I can use it here too. And in fact, I'm going to go up here and just grab this. Copy uh, sorry, scroll down. I have trouble with scrolling because I'm switch between Macs and Windows all the time, so okay, so I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay, so now if it is empty, if matching items is empty just going to return 
Uh, and if I haven't returned, that means it is not empty. So I'm just going to shopping cart item item equals matching items get that first item and then I'm going to update the quantity and I do that by saying item Uh, there's increment quantity and then there's set quantity and that's what I want and now I can get rid of all this maybe not confusing to every oh I forgot to remove an item if the quantity is zero so let's see I'm setting the quantity actually so before I set the quantity uh, I want to say if quantity quantity equals zero, I want to uh, remove that item. And otherwise, I want to set it to its quantity. Okay.